Hello everybody, this is Brandon with ExpeditiousFool.com, putting mindfulness in motion, here with your Lightworkers card pull, and today we have the Wheel of Fortune. I'll let you look at that for a second. Now this is a different Wheel of Fortune card than most. Um, not sure if you can see, but we have, um, yeah, right here we have the bull with wings, we've got a lion with wings, we have a man with wings, and course we have that bird with wings there so this is actually representing kind of the angelic versions of all of these right so enlightened states also each and every one of them have a book and you see here we've got the sphinx it's got the sword swords logic um, knowledge things of that nature now the wheel of fortune is about how the constant cycle of things go around kind of like the temporal world Know, everything is temporary in the Maya, in the physical. Um, and what I'm taking this as is in order to transcend the sufferings, you know, to get to that angelic state of the temporary world that you're in, is it takes study, it takes knowledge. Um, if you can't figure it out yourself, find somebody who has figured out this knowledge, has attained this state. Um, and learn from that individual, but learn that way you can gain balance and stay in the center of this wheel. When you learn how to make that balance, you stay in the center, then it doesn't matter what's circling around you. You feel completely grounded and completely stable. Now, also with learning is it's not something you can do overnight, right? You also have to take that beginner's mindset meaning at the first start, you're not going to know everything. You're not going to know how it goes. You're not going to know the process. It's going to feel uncomfortable from time to time. But once you get comfortable being in the uncomfortable, once you learn how to do that with all the studying here, and this is different type of studying. This isn't up here. This is life studying through your life experiences, the people that you interact with, how you interact, how you choose to interact, how you choose to elevate yourself higher than just a normal person, just a normal bull, a normal lion, a normal bird, those things. You decide to take it on yourself that you're going to elevate yourself higher than that. Then you can really dig in to learn the skills that you need to stay balanced, regardless of which way or how fast this wheel spins, all right? That's the advice I have for y'all today. Keep studying, keep looking for ways to ascend, um, always stay mindful and have a great day on purpose.